Okay, on this problem, we're asked to expand the quotient by partial fractions. So in order to start this program problem, because the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, you want to go ahead and do long division first. Um, so we'll, do, we'll write this as x squared minus 11x plus 30 into x squared plus 0x plus 1. And you'll take this first term and you'll divide them. x squared divided by x squared is 1. So that's what you'll put up there. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times negative 11x is negative 11x. 1 times 30 is 30. And we remember that we subtract this entire quantity. And so um, this is going to be x squared minus x squared, which is 0. Uh, 0x minus negative 11x makes positive 11x. 1 minus 30 makes negative 29. So that means that you can write this fraction x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 11x plus 30 as the quotient, which is 1, plus the remainder, 11x minus 29, divided by the divisor, which is x squared minus 11x plus 30. So now the goal will be to decompose this fraction, 11x minus 29. Now the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. So begin by saying 11x minus 29 over x squared minus 11x plus 30. You can write that as 11x minus 29 over, we could factor this as x minus 6 times x minus 5. So the idea here is to say what two fractions were added together so that the numerator was 11x minus 29. Since our denominator is factored, we know that it's a over x minus 6, some number a over x minus 6, plus some number b over x minus 5, that when you got a common denominator and you add and you collected like terms, you got the 11x minus 29 on the denominator on the in the numerator. So uh, we want to keep kind of keep working on this problem then. Okay. So um, what would we do normally if we were just starting, say you were just thinking about this side of the equation, to get a common denominator, you would multiply um, both sides by what your common denominator is. Or if you could actually work with this entire equation if you think of it as um, like almost like you're, you're cross multiplying. Okay, so we'll cross multiply and we'll say, 11x minus 29 is equal to, um, if I really just, if you cross multiply by this denominator here, um, the x minus 6 is will cancel and you'll have a times x minus 5. And then on this term, the x minus 5s will cancel and you'll just have b times x minus 6. So that's kind of how it simplifies, and so we just now need to figure out what a and b are. So we have 11x minus 29 is equal to ax minus 5a plus bx minus 6b. So then you kind of want to group, group what you have here. So we have 11x, we have ax, and we have bx. So that tells us that a plus b, when you add them together, that must equal 11. So we know that a plus b must equal 11 because when you have ax plus bx, when you add those together, you have to get 11x. So your coefficients there have to add to 11. And then when you look at just the numbers by themselves, negative 5a and negative 6b, you add those two numbers together. We don't know what a and b are, but when we do, we know that they would have to add to get negative 29. So negative 5a minus 6b has to equal negative 29. So at this point, it's kind of just a system of two equations. We have two, two, two equations and two unknowns. Um, if we were to multiply this first equation by 5, we would have 5a plus 5b equals 55. And then if we add these two equations together, negative 5a and positive 5a cancels. Negative 6b and positive 5b is negative 1b. And that's equal to negative 29 and 55. If you add those numbers together, um, you will get uh, 26. Um, okay, and so then you get that B is equal to negative 26. 
So if b is equal to negative 26, you can plug that into either of your first two equations. But remember, we have a plus b equals 11. So we can say a plus negative 26 is equal to 11. And then we get a is equal to, um, we move that over, we'll get 37. Okay. So now we know what a is, and we know what b is, and we can plug those in to our original problem. So remember we had um, 11x squared plus 1 divided by x squared minus 11x plus 30. We found that to be 1 plus 11x minus 29 over, the denominator was x minus 6 times x minus 5. And let's see, our, our a was over x minus 6. So we said, well, this is the same as 1 plus a, which is 37 over x minus 6 plus b, but b is negative, so minus 26 over x minus 5. So that's how we can complete that problem.